We have some amazing projects to share with you, new things looking for contributors in this episode of Charm in the Wild that is covering all of December and January, what got built with Charm. Now, first up, we have OpenCity, which created a new CLI for their project called Zrock. Now, let's try and figure out what that does. So, Zrock is described as being a next generation sharing platform that is built on top of OpenZT, which is a programmable zero trust network overlay. It looks like they have included Bubble Tea in their CLI. I love that we're becoming the go-to product for creating new TUIs across the board. We're excited to see what the demos look like. There are no GIFs on this project and with some of the other business projects, I'm not seeing any demos of, of how it looks. So at the community, you could offer to create GIFs with VHS for some of these projects and see how they respond. And then next up, MergeStack came out with Scribe. So it's described as being, <laughs> described, <laughs> as being a command line interface for translating natural language prompts into SQL queries using the OpenAI API. That sounds crazy. That looks insane. Look at that. You just give it how many distinct authors are there and it is so accurate with the SQL query that it generates. Amazing. So they are also using Bubble Tea as part of their CLI, which is how we found them. Love that there is a preview of what's going on. Next up, we have RunMe that is built by the company Stateful. RunMe allows you to discover and run code snippets directly from your README markdown files or any other markdown files. It's got plenty of examples here. They are using Bubble Tea for their CLI. Amazing stuff, adding some interactivity to a TUI. I would love to see what the TUI looks like. Chat, get in there. Show them how it's done with VHS, all right? And next up, we have Unused by Grafana. This is described as being a CLI tool, Prometheus exporter, and Go module to list your unused disks in all cloud providers. The functionality seems super cool, and they are using Bubble Tea under the hood. So you know that they've got a cute little TUI to go with a great idea. Okay, we love to see it. Next up, we got SailPoint CLI, which is built by SailPoint OSS. So this is a CLI that makes it easy to interact with SailPoint's SaaS platform in a programmatic way. Many functions that used to be accomplished through tools like Postman or from custom scripts can now be done directly from the command line with minimal setup. They are using Bubble Tea as one of their dependencies, so there must be a TUI element to the project. Oh. It is a demo built with VHS. Let's go, sell points, nerd points for that. Thank you so much for supporting us. All right, next up we have WTF Util. So the funny thing is, is I'd actually just contributed some very small changes to WTF. I think I, I don't remember what I did actually. Anyway, it was during Hacktoberfest and it was fun and the contributors were very kind. So Mick Enrickson, actually came up with a PR that got merged. Look at that, merged, easy win. Anytime now that you want to have a progress bar in WTF, it is a charm progress bar. Let's go, we love that. Look at how cool that looks. Thank you so much to Mitch for vouching for us. Thank you to all those businesses. Let's get into what got built in December and January from our community. As you can see, we've got a ton of projects in our Discord. So join the Discord if you want to feature your project. I will look through them and feature it in the next Charm News segment. But we've got some really cool stuff built by the community from December and January. So it looks like Gecko was building Commit K, which is a TUI for networking tools, like ping, trace route, all of that stuff into a Flexbox style grid. Interesting. It looks like they are looking for contributors. So if you're interested in getting in there and getting some hands-on experience, building TUIs and working with other developers. And then next up we've got UTT Log. So this is a shell wrapper for the, the ultimate time tracking CLI tool. We had Satish who came out with a UI for it, just using gum. So super easy to implement, a great idea and a great application of gum. It really is plug and play with gum. 
So definitely check that out if you're looking for more examples. And then we've also got Cryo who, who's come out with an OpenAI chat client. So in this one, they've got a chat bot that is built using Bubble Tea as the TUI. They are struggling a little bit on the design side, according to them. They are looking for more contributors that would be willing to help with getting that TUI off the ground and what great experience it could be for you to practice working on an OpenAI tool. How relevant to what's going on right now in the, in the world, right? And then Tomix has come out with CoinCap TUI. So for all of you crypto nerds out there, this is an awesome TUI that allows you to see your data sets for all of your crypto assets and what those are looking like. It's not only got a table, but it also has a graph display of what's happening and you can see it all from your terminal. It's even if, you, if you're not into crypto, but you're looking for an example of a table data set that's being used in a graph and having it all work in a TUI, then this is probably also worth checking out for you. We've also got in creation i have no idea how to pronounce your name i'm so sorry i tried my best okay but they are working on glass which is an experimental mud client i can't say that i know what mud is or that i know what glass is but they are adding a tui to it with bubble tea contributions are welcome if you are looking for a new project to contribute to you can check it out and see if it's up your alley and then Rome is coming out with a YouTube DL TUI. Let's go. I love YouTube DL as a content creator. It is such an amazing tool. So what he's doing is he's working on creating a list of videos that you want to download from YouTube that are saved to a SQLite database so that they persist between sessions and are all displayed in a nice little TUI for you. We've also got Go... SPT, which is a Spotify, Chewy, and CLI. So they've been working on a Chewy slash CLI Spotify client. So it says it cannot handle the playback by itself. So you do need a third party library. They've got a couple of recommendations there. They are building that with lip gloss, bubble tea, and they're looking for some feedback on it. And then one of our core community members, Jonas, is coming out with Fuzzy Tea. So Fuzzy Tea lets you stream the UI of a Flipper Zero over the serial console right to your terminal. Thanks to Wish. Wish is pretty OP with the SSH stuff, I gotta say. Awesome that he's been able to add so much functionality to the Flipper Zero, a little layer of features above and beyond what Flipper Zero offers already. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And then Ewan's also working on some end-to-end -end encrypted chat rooms, which is super cool. So for me, I would always assume that, okay, end-to-end -end encrypted chat rooms, I'm gonna use Wish because Wish is super easy for user management, especially with SSH. But Ewan's using something else. I'm very curious to see how they're approaching that when I get the link to the repo. But they are using lip gloss for their styling and they are using Bubble Tea for their interactive text UI. Without further ado, let's get into the features. We've got a couple of our releases that were featured in the Golang Weekly for that week. We also had myself who went on the GitHub podcast, the README podcast, just talking about community and developer relations. Also had some great tips for icebreakers. Thank you so much to GitHub for showing us love. And then of course we have Justin from Sourcegraph, our buddies of Sourcegraph. Thank you, Justin, for featuring our non-coding contribution series on your blog post. We've only got one episode out right now, but we will have two episodes out very soon. And then we will have a third episode out for those who are looking to break into tech, but they don't know where to start. Okay, it's for you. We were also in the Changelog podcast for 2022. Toby came on to the Changelog and was just talking about Charm and Terminals and what we're planning to do with Charm. So if you haven't checked that out already, I will link that episode in the description so that you can have a listen. We have another Golang Weekly where they promoted Wish, which makes building SSH apps in Go easier. It's true. You can pretty much make it SSH accessible with like five lines of code, which is insane. And then we also have StackAid, which featured us on their blog. Their blog post is all about managing your environment variables for your projects. And they decided that gum would be a really good fit for that. Thank you, StackAid, for the love. We very much appreciate it. We also we were featured for our gum project. So gum is what allows you to build CLI uh, interactivity, but without Go. So it's almost, it's just a wrapper for all of our pre-built components in bubbles that you see, but you can integrate it into your shell scripts and it just kind of like works out of the box, very plug and play. And that is it for the charm news for December and January. See you in the next one. Bye.